Lesson 7.8 Compare Mixed Number Factors and Products Fractions greater than 1 are also called improper fractions. Their numerators are greater than their denominators. We learned in video 6.7 to rename a mixed number as a fraction greater than 1. So we can even look at as a mixed number as being a fraction greater than 1. We have 2 and 2 fifths. We multiply the whole number 2 to the denominator. Then we add the numerator. We do 2 times 5, which is 10. We add the numerator 2, we get 12. And we use that denominator. It's equal to 12 fifths. When we multiply a fraction greater than 1 by a fraction less than 1, the product will be less than the factor that is greater than 1 and greater than the factor that is less than 1. So what does that mean? Here we have a fraction greater than 1. 1 and a half is equal to 3 halves. And here we have a fraction that's less than 1. When we multiply them together, our product is 3 fourths. And this 3 fourths is less than the 1 and a half, the 3 halves. And it's greater than the 1 half. So here we have a first factor, and it's a fraction less than 1. And our multiplier, the second factor, is a fraction greater than 1. The product is going to be less than this factor, the fraction greater than 1. And it's going to be greater than this factor, the fraction less than 1. So we can make general statements about the relative size of a product when one factor is equal to 1, less than 1, or greater than 1. So here we have our multiplier. It's a fraction greater than 1, and it's written as a mixed number. And then we have our products. We have 1 times 1 and a half. It's going to be equal to 1 and a half. The identity property of multiplication states the product of any number in 1 is that number. So if we're multiplying this by 1, it is that number, 1 and a half. Here we have half times 1 and a half. And that's equal to 3 fourths. The product will be less than the multiplier. It's going to be less than this one, and it's going to be greater than this first factor. Here we have 1 and 1 fourth times 1 and 1 half. It's equal to 1 and 7 eighths. And this product is greater than both factors. It's greater than this factor, 1 and 1 fourth, and it's greater than this factor, 1 and a half. Multiplying a half times 1 and a half, the product will be less than 1 and a half and greater than a half. We color 1 and a half models. We have 1 and a half. We can color them yellow. And they're going to be equal to cutting them in each in half. And we split each in half and use a second color to shade half of each yellow area. We color half of this yellow area and half of this yellow area. We end up with 2 fourths and 1 fourth. It's equal to 3 fourths. And the product is represented by the areas that are shaded twice. And 3 fourths, that product, is less than 1 and a half, and it's greater than a half. Here we have 1 and 1 fourth times 1 and 1 half. Now this one's a little trickier to model because what we need to do is use more models. We find partial products and then we add them. We have this 1 times 1 and a half and then this 1 fourth times 1 and a half. We have 1 times 1 and a half. That's 1 and a half plus, notice there's a plus sign between these. We have 1 fourth for that one-fourth part of our mixed number times this one and a half. We color one-fourth of a model of one, so the whole thing is filled out and shaded in yellow, but we color only a fourth of it. Then on this one, we color one-fourth of a model of a half. We have one and a half here, and we're going to add it to one two-eighths and Here's an eighth, that's three eighths altogether for our partial product. One and a half is equal to one and four eighths. We add one and four eighths plus three eighths, and it's equal to one and seven eighths. We find one times one and a half, and find, find 
1 fourth times 1 and a half, then add their partial products. We can also use a diagram, such as a number line, to show the relationship between the products when a fraction greater than 1 is multiplied or scaled, resized, by a number. So we're multiplying it by 1 and a half. So the first thing we're going to do is locate 1 and a half on our number line. When we graph a point for that product. We have 1 times 1 and a half. It will be 1 and a half. It's equal to 1 and a half. Here we have a half times 1 and a half. We find 1 and a half and halfway between 0 and 1 and a half is 3 fourths. That means it's equal to 3 fourths. It's half of this 1 and a half. That's halfway. And it's less than this 1 and a half. Here we have 1 and 1 fourth times 1 and a half. So here we have 1 and a half and 1 fourth more. So it would be 1 and 1 fourth times the 1 and a half. That's equal to 1 and 7 eighths, and it's greater than 1 and a half. Here we have 2 thirds times 1 and 3 fourths. We can rename this mixed number as a fraction greater than 1 is 7 fourths. We do 1 times 4 is 4, plus the 3, that's a 7. We write it over that denominator. So now we have 2 thirds times 7 fourths. We multiply numerator straight across and get a 14. We multiply denominator straight across and get a 12. We have 14 twelfths. And 14 twelfths is equal to a 12 twelfths plus a 2 twelfths. Same numerator and denominator, so we have one whole and 2 twelfths. We need to write this in simplest form. We can divide the numerator and denominator by a common factor of 2. We get 1 and 1 6. And this 1 and 1 6, this product is less than 1 and 3 fourths and greater than 2 thirds. Here we have 3 whole times 1 and 2 sevenths. We can change the 1 and 2 sevenths into a fraction greater than 1. We multiply 1 times 7, which is 7, plus 2 more is 9. Write it over that denominator, we have 9 sevenths. Now we have 3 times 9 sevenths. And we can write this 3 as a 3 over 1. We learned that in the last video. So we have 3 times 9, going straight across numerators, that's a 27. And we have 1 times 7, which is 7. We have 27 sevenths. And as I've said before, we can look at fractions as division problems and think 27 divided by 7. We can ask ourselves how many 7s fit into that 27. We have 7 7 as one whole, another 7 7 now we get 2, another 7 7 that's 3, and 7 and 7 and 7 is 21. We need to get to 27. That leaves 6 left over. We have 3 and 6 7 and this product, 3 and 6 sevenths, is greater than this factor and it's greater than that factor. Tala bought apples, pears, and oranges. She bought an amount of apples that was one and a half the amount of oranges. She bought an amount of pears that was one third the amount of oranges. And she bought 12 oranges. So which did she buy more of? And which did she buy less of? And we think it's comparing everything to the oranges, and it told us that the oranges were 12. We know she bought 12 oranges, so the apples is one and a half times the 12. One and a half times the 12 would be more apples. She only bought a third of the amount for the pears. So pairs are equal to one-third of 12, or one-third times 12, so she bought less pairs. If we want to find out exactly how much she bought, we do 1 times 12 plus a half times 12 for that one and a half. We get 12 plus half of 12 is 6, that's 18 apples. That's one and a half of 12, it equals 18. For the pairs, we do 1 third times 12, 
that's equal to 12 thirds. We do 1 times 12 is 12, and we use that denominator. We have 12 thirds, and that's equal to 4 pairs. 1 third of 12 is equal to 4. So she bought 18 apples. That's she bought the most of. She bought 12 oranges, and then she only bought 4 pairs. That's the one she bought the least amount of. Because this is one and a half times the amount of oranges, it's going to be more than the oranges. And because this is one third the amount of the oranges, it's going to be less than the oranges. Be very careful as you're modeling the mixed number times the mixed number. You're going to make one whole model and you're going to add it to the other model. Okay? In our next lesson, 7.9, we're going to multiply mixed numbers like we did here. We're going to do this some more, and I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a really, really good day. Bye.